Alright, welcome back everybody to episode number two for Minecraft Let's Play. Today we've got a busy day. Uh, we have some more exploring to do in wait, whoop, this direction. And I also want to work on this cave some more. Now, <clears throat> in between episodes I did do a little bit off camera. I didn't do a ton, but I did a little bit. And uh, as you can see, I am very well stocked up on uh, stone pickaxes right now. And what I want to do is finally start using the space that we have uh, inside this beautiful cavern here. I've lit it up the best I could. Just get up here real quick. There we go. And I've taken off a couple layers. For the most part, I try to leave the layout the same as best I could. Uh, but I just took off, I think, four layers, and then there's a big pile over here I took off as well. So we're going to be playing with that a little bit. Uh, I do want to put an enchanting station in here. So I'm kind of thinking we put our mine here and here. <clears throat> so what I'm kind of thinking is both of them go down a little bit. And then they go over back towards a center point, and then we continue it on. So we kind of have two entrances. This is a little bit different, uh, but I think it's really going to work. So that's what we're going to start with today, and let's get cracking. All right, my friends, time for a progress update. Doesn't look pretty yet. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to have an enchanting station here. Um, obviously, it doesn't need to be too big, but we can decorate it and do whatever we want to do with that. And both of these staircases actually go down to the same place. They both come down. I'm doing some experimentation here. <laughs> and they both wrap around to here. So basically my thought is... I'm going to clear this out. Uh, maybe not this episode, but I'm going to clear this out. And put a farm or something in here. So that way it's not just stone we're looking at or whatever decoration I decide to go with. And that'll be on this wall here. For this wall, we're gonna do something like oak wood here, and then oak wood across. And then we'll do like um, some leaves along the bottom and maybe some water in behind or something. I don't exactly have it planned out yet, but I think it's going to be cool when we do it. So for now, this is just a quick little update of what we've done so far and kind of what you can expect going forward. Obviously, we're going to put stairs in. We're going to decorate the walls and the roof and everything. But for now, I think we're going to call this uh, partially done. <laughs> uh, but we're going to do some exploration for now. Um, if I can make it back to my base alive. We'll see you in a few. So here I am, just about to go off on an adventure in this direction here. And there's actually a cave under our house. Um, I just lit this up like 30 seconds ago. Uh, did some excavation for coal and iron. But I did not know that there was a big giant cave under our base. That's crazy. Oh yes, there's a creeper here. Yes, I'm not going down there. Uh, this way. So yeah, just wanted to share with you guys that I found out that there's a, a whole cave underneath our base that uh, I had no idea was there. Here you go, cows. It's all for you, you beautiful animals. Sheepies get some love too. Hello, turtles. Oh, would you look at this? Ice is pretty close to the base. Nice. Because we're at 100-100, so we've traveled a little bit, but a very full biome that we'll be able to take some ice from once we get uh, Silky Touch. But for now, nothing. All right, we just managed to get ourselves a buried treasure map. And we need to go west. This direction. 
Okay, we found it. Back down. Back down. Nope, no torch. Ooh, it's so full. Ooh, heart of the sea. Ooh, diamond. Ooh. What did we get? What did we get? Some TNT. Iron sword, yes please. Heart of the sea, some diamonds. Lots of iron. Some fish. Eh. Uh, some gold, much needed. Prismarine crystals, okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, look at you, you beautiful dark oak. You beautiful dark oak. I'm going to get you. No, you are a house. This is, uh... Hmm. This is, uh... Yeah. I see nothing fishy here. <laughs> Look at everybody here. Everyone's having a meeting at Town Square. What's going on? Get back to work. Get back to work. You lazy. Ooh, yep. Ooh, yep. All right. We have our carrot. We have our beetroot. We have every one of the, of the vegetables now. Get them. Yeah. Get them. Ow. Can I help you? Yeah. Yeah. I hate creepers. I... I hate creepers. Yeah. 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 You guys know I hate creepers? Because I hate creepers. I hate creepers. Alright. We were right here. I just had to quickly sleep. And there is another treasure here. Alright. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'll oh, just take it. Why not? Cool. Can't really complain. Three dimes without mining. Uh, two iron chest plates, iron helmet. Yeah, looking pretty good. This is very weird. Uh, hello? <laughs> and this is the fruit of our labor. Um, nothing fantastic. I mean, a couple diamonds, a couple heart of the sea. Nothing too shabby. Uh, one brewing stand. Where are the bells? I know I have bells. Four bells. A couple of emeralds. So, yeah. Overall, I think we did pretty good. So, I have been busy. I haven't got it done. This is just a prototype. So, right here, I've got some leaves on the wall. I obviously ran out here. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this, so I might change it. But down here... This is what I've done so far. And I think it's turned out pretty good. Um, probably going to want to change the inside here. I don't know if I'm going to leave, leave it as stone, but for now it is what it is. And I've done the whole one side here, and this is where we're going to go down to the next level. And then we'll do the same sort of thing over here and repeat the pattern. I've also cleared all of this out and put in some wheat. And in behind here, we're going to take out the walls and we're going to fill it up with uh, some wool. And we're going to make like um, kind of like an outside kind of thing. So the whole bottom layer could be green for grass. And then we'll have some sky. We'll have maybe a sun somewhere up here. And we'll have some clouds. And that's just kind of what I'm envisioning for right here. So this has taken me a very long time. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using stone tools if you're going to be doing this, but uh, it's all I had right now. So this is what I got, and uh, I've harvested once, and that's how much this farm produces.
just off of one thing. So very big and good farm and we'll keep you updated when we get some more. Now, I've just been digging out to the next level here and there's a little cave system. And in the cave system, we got a mine shaft. So I don't know how big it is, but we are going to have to do some exploration in here and see if we can find anything. So, did a little bit of recon down there. I uh, ran out of torches so I couldn't do too much. Got a stack of rails and 43 iron ore and then a couple mob drops. And that was it. So when we get some more torches, we'll need to go do some more exploration in there. It's go time. And nothing. <laughs> some bees here boys there be some bees another tree must have grown through the bees nest oh there it is ah oh, if only I had silk touch he hasn't seen me yet they've seen me He got launched. Now this is a ravine. Yeah, we're at the right level, but I don't see diamonds here. Oh, right in front of my face. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We got four. Do we have any more here? These are the first diamonds we're finding. Oh, there's six at least. Oh boy. Oh boy. Seven, eight. We found the perfect vein. Woo! Let's make sure there's no lava nearby. We don't want any mistakes happening here. So far, so good. So far, very good. All right. Look at that. That uh, was F2? Yeah. Woo. We did it. Oh, so juicy. Yep, that happened. Oh. All right, just did a quick little 30 minute mining sesh and this is what we got quite a bit i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have this on camera that was a nice big eight vein of diamonds and now we can start making our enchanting table all right new day uh got the enchantment table set up but uh levels are obviously a limiting factor for us right now 
So I did end up setting up the spawner that we had. Uh, let's just go to it real quick. Uh, it isn't anything pretty, because like I said, I do want to do it with the uh, soul sand uh, elevators and everything. So this is just really quick makeshift, uh, don't care how it looks sort of thing. Uh, nobody in there right now. Okay. So this is uh, what we got. <laughs> it's very, very basic. Uh, just basically come here. Uh, even if they're right here, right in front, they still can't see you. So you can just sit here and swing your sword and get all the drops, but they won't be able to get you. Problem that I've noticed is they don't spawn really quick. So I might have to do something. Because um, they only really spawn when you're like right beside it, so... I'm gonna have to figure something out for that and we'll be right back. All right, so made a little bit of a tunnel uh, just from where we just were, right to over here. Um, so I'm sure you just saw that some had spawned a second ago. I don't know if I had it on camera or not, um, but our light level is nine right here. So this block in front of me would be eight and anything eight or above mobs cannot spawn on. So everything in there is seven, and we can still watch what's happening. And we're actually getting them to spawn here, which is nice. So might have to set up a little station over here for us to actually exterminate the zombies. So I might have to do something, like loop them that way. And then loop them back sort of thing but again I'll need soul sand for that so I think we're just gonna have to ooh, look at that nice four pack just spawned so yeah let's go take care of these guys here so you can see what all the fun is look at them all the enchanted boys look at them all they're all squished in there there we go so starting at 21, let's see if we can get ourselves a level or two. That would be nice. Uh, that way I can finally get some enchanted weaponry and we can actually start doing some damage and silk touch and all the fun stuff. So now we're 22. We went up one level. That is good, good, good. Unfortunately, this is a zombie one, so the drops aren't great. Much would have uh, rather have had... Uh, skeleton but beggars can't be choosers so there you have it folks that's our spawner working and we'll see you in the next update let's get some loot skadoodles oh you gotta be kidding me <laughs> oh i totally forgot anvils take levels all right, problem time. I need leather. And I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <sighs> All right, so we are back. Uh, a lot of the cows went on vacation, uh, so that's why it's not so full anymore. Just ignore the leather and the raw beef in my inventory. Um, yeah, they went on vacation. So, that's what happened. Eight. Uh, torches. So, what are you? Level 30. A. I'm breaking. Th Ooh. 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 All right. So. After 15 hours of work, I've got 18 minutes of YouTube video. <laughs> so this will be the end of the video here. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time on this so far. Now, just a quick run through of what we've done. This is our little enchanting station here. And I have a little favor to ask of you guys here. Serious time for a sec. 
If you could do me a favor and leave a comment on the video of something that you would like to see in this mine. It could be something that you'd like to see on this back wall. It could be a different design. It could be something down further below. Anything. Any comment would be greatly appreciated. So that's going to be the end of the video here, folks. If you did like the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.